The Atom LT is Arc'teryx's best-selling and most popular jacket, but is it worth the price? is probably the most common Arc'teryx jacket you're going to see out on the streets. Many people have it and it's a very common city use jacket. There are multiple reasons why the Atom LT is so popular. First, Arc'teryx has become a very popular brand in recent years. It's a very good looking stylish jacket that fits an athletic build and it's an all around jacket that can be used for many different purposes. However, does this come at a cost for its performance? Some important features of this jacket, it is classified as a synthetic active mid-layer and it comes in both the jacket and hooded options. For the insulation, as of fall 2020, they have upgraded to the Corloft Compact material using 60 grams per meter squared. The new Corloft Compact is supposed to last much longer and maintain its loft in comparison to the old Corloft that used to be used in the Atom LT. Synthetic insulation is going to handle moisture much better than down jackets, but it provides less warmth to weight. For breathability, the Atom LT has fleece paneling along the sides, and the outer shell is built with a 20 denier nylon fabric that feels very thin. In terms of weight of the jacket, the size medium comes out to 375 grams. There are three pockets, two insulated hand pockets lined with fleece on the front, as well as a phone pocket on the inside. There are adjuster cables on the hood, as well as the bottom of the hem. Another new feature of the Atom LT is that the zipper now has a stopper at the top. Let's go through the use cases of this jacket. I use it mainly as a three season camping and hiking jacket. It's a great casual jacket to be used for doing errands or walking your dog. It's also a great mid layer for skiing or snowboarding. It's also great as a mid layer under a thick parka for really cold days. Lastly, because it's fairly lightweight, it's great for packing up and using when you travel. Now, how well does this jacket really perform? And is it really worth the price? In terms of warmth for this jacket, I consider it about the same warmth level as a very thick fleece. Something like the Patagonia Better Sweater is gonna be a very similar warmth to this. Because of the fleece paneling on the sides, it's really meant for active use and not static use. It's fine for hiking. However, if you're walking your dog or just standing still, you will find it does get cold. If it is in the low teens in Celsius, you're really gonna need a base layer under this jacket. Otherwise, it's not gonna be warm enough. I have found that anything lower than about 12 degrees Celsius, and you're gonna need at least a base layer and a fleece underneath for it to keep you warm. Again, that is mainly for static use, either walking or using at camp. And I have found basically once it's the fall time, the jacket is just not warm enough by itself. In the summer, it's great as a packable, almost sweater alternative, but once it's fall, it's just too cold. I just really wish the Atom LT was warmer. It, for me personally, it just doesn't fit my use case. And I find most people are using it as a city jacket, and I really don't think it fits that bill very well. There are better and warmer alternatives that I think would fit that city use much better than the Atom LT. In terms of water resistance, I find this jacket is very effective. It's obviously going to be much better than a down jacket, and I found as long as I keep reapplying the DWR, it's great as an emergency rain jacket. If I'm going out walking my dog for an hour or so, it doesn't wet out at all and it works perfectly fine. However, if it's really pouring rain or if you're out for more than an hour, you're probably going to need a full dedicated rain jacket. And my biggest issue with the Atom LT is wind resistance. Wind absolutely cuts through these fleece panels of the jacket like nothing else. This is really what's preventing the jacket from being as warm as it should be. Again, this is great as an active layer, but even then, Arc'teryx has the Proton line, which I think fits that active use better. So I really don't see where the Atom LT fits in their lineup. And for any really high output activities like running or cycling, I think this jacket would just be too warm. So it's like good for maybe hiking, but if you're probably gonna get too hot if it's not in the low teens or single digits. The Atom LT is not considered an ultra light jacket as it comes in at 375 grams. However, for most people, it is light enough and packable enough. All you have to do is take the jacket and pack it into its own sleeve and it's fine to put in your backpack. Let's go over the durability of the Atom LT. With the recent improvements to the Atom LT made in 2020, it should be more durable than the previous versions. I've currently had this jacket for a year and have had no issues. The insulation in the jacket is still working very well. It still has full loft and there's no rips on the outer material. A common issue that people have had with this jacket is abrasion to the outer fabric from either a seatbelt or wearing a backpack for a long period of time. I personally don't wear it when I'm hiking with a heavy backpack, so I haven't found that issue. I mainly use it when I get to camp and put it on to keep warm. The new Corloft Compact should maintain the longevity in comparison to the old versions. One of the problems people have noted 
is mainly the back panel losing its loft very quickly. This can happen from sitting in your car and really compressing that back panel for a long period of time. However, so far, I have not had that issue. I personally think this jacket does everything okay, but nothing great. There are many alternatives out there that are gonna do a better job at different specific use cases. For example, I think the Arc'teryx Proton LT is gonna be a much better option overall than the Atom LT. It's gonna be better at blocking wind and is more breathable. If I could go back, I would probably get the Atom AR instead of the Atom LT. The Atom AR does not have the fleece panels on the sides. It's gonna be much better at staying warm and preventing wind from coming in. It is going to be a bit thicker and heavier and harder to pack, but I think it's worth it so that you don't need to carry an extra fleece with you. I often find that if I'm traveling with this jacket or camping with it, I still need to bring an extra fleece with me just to keep warm. So something like the Atom AR would be great for having that extra warm and preventing me from needing to bring an extra fleece. Another great option for warmth would be the Fjall Raven Expedition Light Down Jacket. I have done a review of that, so I'll put that up in the corner. I think that one's also great for being light and very warm. And another warm option would be the Arc'teryx Thorium Jacket. If you're looking for a travel jacket that's very packable and light, something like the Cerium from Arc'teryx would be very light. There are also cheaper options that would fit this bill very well. Something like the Uniqlo Down Jacket or the Decathlon Trek 100, both very popular jackets in the travel community. So in conclusion, the Arc'teryx Atom LT is a very overrated jacket. I don't think it's worth a $350 price. There are many better options depending on what you're using it for. I personally would recommend the Atom AR or a down jacket that's lighter. If you're looking for an active use mid layer, I think the Proton LT is gonna be much better as well. They also have the new Proton Hybrid, which could work even better. Thank you for watching my review. Please like the video and subscribe for more.